Frank McKelvey's birthplace. Frank McKelvey was born here at number 31 Woodville Road on the 3rd of June 1895. He was baptised Francis Baird McKelvey at St Matthew's Parish Church, but he was always known as Frank. His father, William, was a painter and decorator, so it comes as no surprise that Frank ended up with a brush in his hand, but in his case, an easel replaced the latter. After their marriage, his parents settled here at Woodville, which, at that time, was a new suburb of the expanding industrial city of Belfast, with a population of around 300,000 people. The young McKelvey received his basic education at Mayo Street National School, and then, on the advice of his father, he joined a Belfast company as an apprentice lithographer and poster designer. He enrolled as a full-time student at the College of Art, about 1911, and showed early promise and development in his painting by winning numerous prizes. After college, he resumed his employment, but in his spare time he concentrated on painting and made trips to the countryside near Belfast, to places like White Rock and Colin Glen. Early in his career, he was given a commission by Thomas McGowan, one of his first patrons, to paint scenes of old Belfast, and these are now in the Ulster Museum. The museum collection also contains McKelvey's 13 portrait drawings of presidents of the United States who were descended from Ulster stock. In 1923, his work was recognised when he was elected an associate of the Royal Hibernian Academy, the premier society of artists in Ireland. By the 1940s, McKelvey was the leading portrait painter in Belfast, and one of the finest portraits he produced was that of Professor Blair Morton of Queen's University. However, it is as a landscape artist that Frank McKelvey is best remembered, one of a group of northern artists who created a distinct Irish school of painting. He died in hospital in June 1974.